Welcome to All American Arcade, the TV show that's going to explore all the secrets and fun of the arcade business. Hi, I'm Todd Tucky, owner of TNT Amusements in Southampton, Pennsylvania, and we are going to take you on a magical tour for the next 30 minutes. Explore with us the magic and mystery of arcade games and see how you can own your very own machine. Pinball like you've never seen it before. Or how about a video game filled with all the classics of yesteryear. The Love Meter. Revolution X. Star Wars. Cocktail table, video, and pinball machines along with the standard uprights. We have them all. Hey, wait a minute. Let's meet the crew. Tony. Jason. Jonathan. Wallace. Walter. Stephen, Frank. Now sit back and relax and enjoy all American arcade. Wait a minute. Where's Kurt? Kurt! Welcome to episode two of All American Arcade. And we've got a great show lined up for you. First, Gottlieb's pinball card playing classic, Jacks to Open. Then, we're going to take you into space with William's Defender from 1980. Oh, a fantastic game. Then we're going to go into the future with William's pinball machine, Star Trek, The Next Generation. And we're going to end our show tonight with a zany phone answering machine message. Oh, you're going to love it. So keep watching and here we go. done. It's done. Now listen. Oh, let me turn off the record player. There we go. I was listening to that. Hey. Is he back talking me? You would not give him any shit. Look at this game. Alright, you know what? I, I think, now look. You're going to look at this now. Now watch. Look. And what we're going to do now is go to a before scene. See, I'm going to show you this without pointing anything out. Okay? So you can see it all. Now look, I'm even going to turn this light off so you can see how the LEDs make this baby look, okay? Okay. Really nice, huh? Okay, now, okay, now I think it's time that we show you a before scene. I got to show you when we started on the play field. Steven peeled off the Mylar. Can you believe the owner of this machine, or whoever sold it to this person originally, covered their crappy paint job. Look what they, how they painted the jack here with a spatula. I mean, we were near the right colors either. Yeah, they weren't close. So we heat, used a heat gun and pulled off their little mylar job. Now Steven is going to redo it. Now you think, now look at this. I want you to look, inspect. Yes, it's crummy. And Steven, show Steven now. Steven's gonna do it, right? Yeah, get it done. Such delicate work. Now doing the black. It's hard to believe it's the same machine, huh? <laughs> uh, Steven? There he is, right there. Yes, sir. It's my baby. That's me. That's, that's him. He's working with his uh, paint pens. Paint penning. <laughs> no, you saw what he was working with. Real paint brushes. Look at this terrific job. We've also, of course, put brand new targets, courtesy of Steve Young at Pimble Resource. Uh, plastics are pretty much perfect, along with everything else in this game. This game is absolutely terrific looking. Isn't it something? 
Okay, I'm going to show you what we've done in the back. Inside. We always lift these up like that. That makes it even. Very easy to do. Lithium battery here has uh, easy quick connects tabs. We've added the extra ground wire so you don't have to run ground wires everywhere. You just have to put the one in the factory said to put in. The factory said that. Everybody ignored that. I don't know why anybody, nobody else read that, uh, that uh, memo. <laughs> we've also, uh, oh, we've put new parts in the power supply. New capacitors here to rebuild the high voltage. Soundboard needed capacitors, so we got that done. I like the Gottlieb of this era because of the skinny head. You see, I like the head that's skinny because it's skinny like me. See? Now look at the head. See? See, we're about the same waist size, see? Eh? as long as the cabinet, <sighs> Is anybody going to get that phone? Secretary's going for the day. Oh, nobody is going to get it. Who do you think this could be? Can I help you? <laughs> ah, it's my lovely wife. <laughs> Sweetheart, I'm right in the middle of the phone. Yeah. Are you right back? <laughs> Let me see if I can go back. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Isn't it lovely to get a call from the lovely wife? Ed, do you hear the Christmas music? I do. Hey, look, let's look at this again with the layoff. We are going to be delivering this tonight. It's an early Christmas present, or as we like to say, an early Xmas present. Kurt, did you do the final checkout on this? Yes. Good. So, um, okay, load it in your van. You guys are taking it. I don't do deliveries anymore. <clears throat> I don't do deliveries anymore. We're taking this, we're taking this, we're taking this. He sits in the front and edits all day long. I own the place. And I suppose, Walter, you're going to tell me. Oh, look. Two Mavericks. The attention span of them. We have to make one. Coffee. Oh, look, look, coming later tonight, a black night. Here, start filming it yourself. Oh, well, you can't leave. I, I, we're, we're packed here. Look, a Fonzie 8-Ball. That's going to be later tonight. A Class of 81 cocktail. Oh, yes. We didn't get these others wrapped up yet. Well, you better Kombat start filming 3. and get back to work. you got a lot of work to do. A lot of work. you got a lot of work ahead of you. Good well, day. you own the place. You can start now. This little flippant youngster. You better have this done soon. Good luck with that. And if I don't, I'm gonna have that guy back there tune you up. Why don't you try doing it yourself? I don't want you to cry. He wishes. He's a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'll maybe beat you up on camera. Oh shit. Tony will do it. How about renting a game for your next party? My daughter Terry will tell you all about renting games for your next event. Do you want your next party to be a big hit? Rent one or more of our games for your next event. We have both old and new pinball machines. Or a game that up to four people can play at the same time. Touchscreen games are a lot of fun. Or how about a bubble hockey? Our delivery men bring them in and set them up. Jukeboxes. Go to our website for more information at tntamusements.com. We're in the yellow pages under amusements. Remember, at any time you can go on our website and see all the games we have in stock. Also, look at our YouTube videos. We've got over 700 showing all these different machines that we sell. And now it's time for Defender. All right, start over here. Works great, uh -huh. going out tonight, right? This is typical pole position nonsense. This is called the F screen. <laughs> 
Kurt, you still have the F's on the screen. It means fun, 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 fun. Wrap it up fun, and fun, ship fun. it. But listen, you see that word, joy? That is what this customer is going to experience when we ship this baby to it. The Defender. Beautiful control panel overlay, as you can see. We have red T molding that really sets it off nice. We have all the buttons color coordinated. So it also will work on coins too. This way, I think it's a, a nice idea. We also have, let's see what else. Oh, the side art was all redone by Steven. Beautiful. Look at the colors, all bright. We have a gloss coating on it, so it looks terrific. Back here, we've rebuilt the 4900 with new parts. Capacitors, I guess there's about 17 capacitors. And then there's a couple of neat mods we do that makes the thing run very efficiently. Down here, Frank, who's running the camera, has installed a computer controlled power supply here. Rather than that ridiculous, horrible linear one that was in there that always blew up. This way, see, we have connectors. So when that goes bad, the customer can change it. Everything will plug in and match up perfectly. We have fuses, new fuse block here. One is for the light bulbs in the coin door because you need to have them as, uh, uh, fused, just like the old power supply did. Logic board here has been serviced, lithium battery in the corner. Do you see this here, this connector? That's a brand new connector. You have to put a new one in because the old connector only leans on the legs one way. The new connector is a triuricon and it grips each of the pins with three sides. So the three voltages that are going into that board will get to the chips they're supposed to. If one of those legs is not, is not making good contact, it can actually damage the chips if they only get two of the three voltages. So you always put a brand new connector in there. You don't have to change the others, just that one and new triuricon pins. You can buy them at uh, Pinball Resource has them, Competitive Products, Marco Specialties, they also sell these connectors. We also clean and service the ROM board here. We had to burn a couple of new ROMs. And the soundboard above here, look at this, isn't this intriguing? This Defender has the older style soundboard and most of them are the square boards. This is the rectangular one they started using on the pinball machine. We put all new capacitors in the circuit. So you don't see many defenders with this. This means it's an early production run on this game. It doesn't make any difference, of course. Am I gonna be able to get up? Oh, I'm gonna... oh. Are you still, <laughs> look, he still has the F screen. Ship it. This is going out Sunday, so we have two days to get this purdied up. Let's come back here to the front of the machine. We are shipping this out tomorrow. Frank, is this going to Texas? <clears throat> oh, it's one o'clock in the morning. I don't remember my name at this point. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so that's how you die real quick. I was never good at the Defender. I don't know if you're aware of this, but up the Defender to save them. Defender, a great Atari game. Atari? Ah, yes. Atari licensed it from Williams when they released their home cartridges. What a terrific game. You know what? Uh, I had read someplace that the programmers use every possible part of the ROMs to run this. I mean, this was so advanced level for 1980. This is 33 year old electronics. And they still work. Really great stuff. We love old boards. We love old games. And we're going to crate this baby up and get it out there so it gets there in time for Xmas. Good night. Have you played Atari today? We're in the Yellow Pages under Amusement. Okay, track and field is getting there. We still got a lot of work to do on this though. And I just never know what's gonna happen. So, uh, what, what, wait, hold, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what, what? 
It, I put in a half a day, 12 hours. It's 4 o'clock. I know. 12 hours. That, that's like the morning. Yeah. It is the morning. I'm exhausted. <clears throat> He's my brother. We're twins. We're twins. That's right. It's a two for one soda day. Who are you breaking my soda machine? Two for one, baby. Uh, That's like the lottery. You get the lottery. Come. <laughs> Let's do that again. Come. Do I need to say any more? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wallace, the radio. Oh, you're filming. Oh, maybe I should turn it off. Make it so. <laughs> it's a beauty. I think I'd like for you to switch back to see what it looked like before we started. Make it so. Here we're showing you where Jason has taken everything off the play field. A lot of people skip that. They don't take everything off. Well, we do. And you see this coating here? Jason has put a coat of mill wax. Where is it? We use the very finest money can buy. It's been around for 50 years. Mill wax to get this wax up. We're going to buff this all down tomorrow. Also, I wanted to show you we're rebuilding these turrets with new looms. This is the original factory loom, right in here. This turns back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The wires crack right there. And you can actually see the kink in here. So we have brand new looms coming in for this game. So that'll make this very dependable again. Should be fine in a private home for many years to come. Now we'll get back to the game. Okay, big difference. Where should we start? Well, LEDs, super high intensity in a number of places. Rebuilt turret guns with uh, the new looms. I showed you that. He's done a lot of nice mods to this. So of course, rebuilt flippers. It, 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 was, it, it was rough. You saw how, what it looked like. But what I wanted to share with you, we service all these boards before you get the machine. We put new bridges here that run nice and cool because they allow the airflow around them this time, rather than the original ones that were so close to the board. We've reflowed solder on all these connectors. We've put new connectors in that burn up after so many years. So that's all been done. So you won't have to do any of that or worry about any of that. A new lithium battery lasts five years. So this baby is good to go. Good night, Robert. My brother is leaving. Walking out on me. <laughs> so that sounds like a good idea, see it. Ah, but, but Frank, the video. Night. Wait a minute, come back here. Come back here, take this camera back. Everybody else gets this. Look at that high school. You've all seen how this game plays. I'm not going to play this, but I want you to look at how nice the camera is. can't regular games, much less this game. Oh. I'm never really good at this. Uh, oddly enough, he, a man who's getting this machine is trading in his Star Wars Episode One and getting Star Trek Next Generation. So he's staying within the, the space theme. You know, we have time for one more corny one. Engage. Good night. How about buying a real arcade game for your house? My daughter Tammy will show you all about it. Have you ever thought of owning your own video arcade game? Well, come to TNT Amusements. We've got plenty of them. We have a hundred different machines for sale in our Southampton PA showroom. Where can you find classics like Galaxian and Mortal Kombat? Pac-Man, Space Invaders, Stargate. Oh, and we have Pinball. If you get tired of your game, we guarantee you generous trade-in credit. How about buying
find your very own shuffle bowling alley. Woo! Oh, I love touchscreen games. How about buying your very own bubbler jukebox that holds 500 CDs? It's electric. And all of our machines come with TNT Amusements exclusive find your service plan. Go to our website for prices and more info, tntamusements.com. We're in the yellow pages under amusement. Everybody loved my last phone messages tape. So I'm going to take you on an adventure. This is part one. And I'm going to introduce you to Joe. This recording came a long time ago in 1986 or 87 back when we had a cassette answering machine and let, as a matter of fact let me show you those machines before we got the phone automation in the early 90s I think around 1990 or 91 we used to have a bank of three answering machines because we had three lines at the time now we have six and the automation answers four the fifth line is answered by this machine that still works after all these years. It's unbelievable. And our sixth line is a fax line, so there's no, no pickup on that. But this is where we recorded all these messages. Yes, <laughs> we still have them there, huh? Anyway, I'm going to treat you to Joe. This is call number one. I'm going to be presenting this in three parts. But I'm going to introduce you to Joe. And we will play the tape. And I think you will enjoy this very much. Hey, it's uh, Todd. How you doing? Uh, my name is Joe. And uh, I'm not going to leave my number, but uh, I'll call you back. And I'll tell you what I'm looking for. Um, I saw your list of the arcade uh, games that you have. And uh, what I'm looking for is not on your list. is uh, phone's messed up. It's not on your list. Uh, I'm looking for the, for the electronic game. Let's count how many times he says C Wolf. If you do have one, if you can get it, how much it's going to be. You know what I mean? So uh, I'll get back to you. Okay. And, uh, you, know, you know, don't feel like I'm, I'm putting you off by not giving my number, because I don't leave my number with anybody. But I'll call you back, and you'll let me know if you can get it. Let's see. It's a machine called C Wolf, and I like it a lot. And um, well, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't be calling you. You know, I... Uh, I guess you're just one person, I guess, that has, uh, you know, arcade machines. There are a lot of people, so I'm going to call a lot of people to see, uh, you know, everybody's prices. But I'm sure, you know, it ain't going to be more than like $300, I would imagine. But, you know, you'll tell me. I'm looking for one that's in, you know, clean condition and everything. You know, tell me first if you can get it at all. You know, if you have access to that particular machine, Seawolf. I think it's from uh, the past 10 years. Might be from like 78, 79. Maybe it's from 70... Well, you know, 
seen nothing yet. You haven't seen nothing yet. So we will be posting part two of this conversation with my answering machine. So keep watching. Thanks for joining us for episode two of All American Arcade. You can go to YouTube right now and enjoy over 700 videos we've already uploaded. Just do a search for TNT Amusements. Go to our website TNTAmusements.com. There you can see all the games we have in stock and the prices. And if you're in historic Bucks County, visit us in our Southampton showroom where you can see all the games we have for sale in our maze like showroom. I'll have the coffee on. And until next time, remember living is good. Good night. Now get out!